Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Bulldog Soccer. We're joined by head coach Greg Henson. Coach, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. I know obviously we're taping this uh, here early in the week before the NCAA selections are announced. Uh, what's it like being in that conversation uh, for the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think we're, it's always nice to be, you know, considered or be in the mix, and we're definitely a bubble team right now and, and wish we were probably on the, on the other side of it or, or, or secured our spot, um, you know, going into the selection show today. But, um, you know, we had a chance to kind of work out a couple of days over the weekend and, and stay together, and, and uh, so it's always nice to be relevant um, and, in, and in the conversation. Um, and hopefully, you know, things will go our way tonight at 6. Obviously, uh, here this season, uh, you made it to the GLIAC tournament again. Got a big quarterfinal win over Northwood. Uh, six to nothing win to move on to the semifinals. Uh, nice to get that, that big win in the quarterfinals here at home last week. Yeah, it was huge for us, especially coming off of uh, Friday's disappointment in, in the last regular season game and losing to Northwood. And um, <clears throat> as we talked last week, you know, it's difficult to play the same team three times in seven days. And, and uh, I think that kind of bit us a little bit in that game on Friday. And then able to jump out on Sunday and get a big win. Um, convincing fashion and kind of uh, right the right the ship, so to speak. Um, so it was important for us going into you know Friday's semifinal at Grand Valley uh, with a little bit of momentum and some and some positive energy uh, coming out of that win on, fr on uh, last Sunday. As we go over some of the highlights of the match against Grand Valley, uh, quick start here and uh, had an opportunity to take an early lead. Yeah, that was one of the things that we wanted to do was really kind of jump out and come at them right away um, and put them under pressure early going. And I thought you know through the first course of the First 15 minutes, I thought we really played well. Um, kind of put on the front foot and had them kind of uh, uh, reeling a little bit. Um, great chance early on from from Bree Rogers uh, and a couple other chances that we had that just didn't uh, just didn't fall. Um, and unfortunately, it's just tough to, to maintain that that pressure against a team like Grand Valley. Certainly, a team that uh, hadn't given up a whole lot of goals at, at all this season. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, they've given up three in the entire year, um, and uh, or since September 15th, I should say. So. Um, it's been difficult to score on them, um, and it's difficult to uh, to get a one nothing win. And so you know we didn't score, so we didn't we weren't in a position there. But uh, we saw in a game with Saginaw on them on, on Sunday, um, you know it, it, down one nothing at half and won four to one. So there's a talented group. Um, hats off to them for another great year, and uh, and, and, and we'll, we'll look to get them next year. Obviously, after the start, uh, they had the, the two goals here uh, about seven or so minutes apart uh, here midway through the first half that really uh, kind of proved to be the difference. Yeah, I think, unfortunately, they, they kind of had a, a good a good individual effort from uh, from one of their players and, and got the ball in and a um, nice little combination play to get in behind us and uh, a great finish from their, their center forward. Um, and then we're wheeling a little bit for that per period. They, they got another one, Tech, on the second goal um, before we were able to settle back in and, and keep playing the game. And then... Um, you know, unfortunately, against a team like Grand Valley, you know, they strike quickly. Um, you don't really have an opportunity to make many mistakes, and they're going to capitalize when you do. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, they, they grabbed that 2 nothing lead at halftime. I thought we responded well in the second half um, and, and really looked to try to take some chances and go forward and, and look to get back into the match. Um, and, of course, when you do that, you know, it opens things up, and, and you'll see the third goal here. We were kind of caught uh, in a counter. Um, they countered us after we had an opportunity at their net. Um, but, uh, you know, tournament time, it's all about winning the game. And so it's not about how well you lose. You want to go out and try to win the match. And, and we were chasing that result still uh, all the way to the final final whistle. Certainly can't uh, fault the effort. They, they really battled hard uh, through the entire contest. Yeah, and that was one of the keys for us, you know, coming into this, uh, this game is that, you know, I felt like uh, we didn't show up uh, the first time we played them. Um, we talked about it with, as a team, and I didn't feel like we got off the bus when, when we pulled up there. And, and, uh, and it was a poor performance from us. And, and uh, what I was looking for was really just the, the attitude, energy, and effort. Um, and those three components were all there. Um, we just have to uh, do a little bit better. Um, in the final third, uh, the next time we get a chance to play them, um, I thought we did well defensively. I thought we did well in building through the midfield. But in the final third, we got a little, uh, little panicked at times and, and just weren't uh, um, you know, in a position to, to score the goals that we needed to. Obviously, as you look back at the, the season as a whole uh, to this point in the year, um, maybe what have you learned uh, in your first season here at Ferris State and, and how the kids uh, kind of responded to you? Yeah, I think it's been but overall positive, and it's, uh, you know, even uh, when you kind of look at it, and we're hoping to still be still be playing uh, later this week, um, but at the end of a season, it's always tough uh, in the immediate after fact to kind of find the find the positives when you're when you're reeling from, from a tough loss to end the season. 
Um, but there have been a lot of positives, and we've done a lot of good things this year. Um, I think, you know, as a coaching staff and as players, you know, both kind of overcoming just the transition. Um, you know, I didn't really get on campus until late July, and, and those aren't excuses or anything like that. Those are just facts that, that you have to overcome. And, um, you know, I think the, the first time I met the team as a whole, uh, or the majority of the team as a whole, was a, as a camp that we put on in, in early August, like August 4th or 5th. And, um, and it's kind of crazy from that standpoint. So uh, really proud of, of the season that they put together. Uh, it's a great group. Um, and uh, proud to lead them and, and looking forward to, to what the future holds for us, whether that's the immediate future um, this weekend or, or we're looking to the 2020 season. But i um, very thankful for, for, their, for their effort and everything that they did and making me feel welcome and, uh, and making it an easy transition for me. Obviously, uh, you're one of those teams under consideration. A number of teams uh, in that mix in a competitive region really speaks volumes to the, the competition uh, here in the Midwest region. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you got uh, you got a couple of really good conferences uh, that that are battling for those eight spots, and and um, you know the GLIAC is is tough, and especially the top four or five teams. Um, the GLBC um, is a very big conference, um, and so they just have a number of, of competitive matches throughout there, and, and then the, the Great Midwest as well. So, um, you know, it's tough. It, it's 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 a tough deal. Where uh, unfortunately, when you get into those regional rankings. You know, it's one result here, one result there um, that can make a difference. And I think it's really, a, you know, about two or three that if we would have got a win instead of a tie or a win instead of a loss um, in the course of maybe three games, if one of those results would have gone our way, I think we'd be in a much better spot right now. Obviously, uh, soccer, a uh, team sport, but uh, some individual recognition that uh, your players have got as well. Uh, had three players named to the all first team, five all-conference selections, a uh, couple academic selections. Uh, really nice to see that recognition. Yeah, and, and it's it's... Definitely, soccer is one of those tough sports. Either you're responsible for scoring the goals or keeping the goals out, and that's where all the stats come from. And so everybody else kind of has to to fight for that recognition. But uh, but I think overall, you know, it was good for us. Some of the awards we won, a couple players on the all tournament team as well. Um, and uh, I think it just shows the overall quality of our roster, quality of the team. Um, there's going to be always going to be individuals that are recognized, you know. But from a team sport, teams team standpoint, you know, I always stress to the players that you know there's going to be individuals. These are team awards, and, and we have to do well in order to to, uh, to allow for those individuals to be recognized as well. Obviously, seven seniors uh, hoping to continue their uh, college careers. What does that senior class maybe meant to Bulldog soccer? I think it, it meant a lot. You know, they've had a lot of success in some of the best years. You know, that uh, in the past, when you look at the when you look at the history, um, you know, the record book, so to speak, um, has been with that senior class on the field. So. Um, they've done a lot uh, during their four-year career. Uh, for me personally, it's just you know, a great leadership group um, that just uh, that, that jumped on board and accepted and kind of followed, you know, followed along with what uh, with the changes that I wanted to make within the program. And and uh, when your seniors buy in and your leadership buys in, it's a lot easier uh, to get everybody else on the same page as well. Well, Coach, thanks for being with us, and uh, best of luck uh, here as you, you await the, the postseason fate. Thank you. Reminder, you can follow all the action online at FerrisStateBulldogs.com. Have a great week.